All right, back with another video. Today's topic materials. What's it gonna be? For you and your lady. <laughs> <clears throat> Since the introduction of tobacco to the Western world, people have been looking for the optimal material to smoke out of. But I think we got the best pipe materials found. It's been like hundreds and hundreds of years. So certain materials are better at certain things. Nowadays, the most popular pipe making material is briar. They smoked clay pipes for about 300 years, but once they discovered briar, they realized it has a superior smoking quality. Now, briar is part of a root. It's like a sh shrubby bush that grows along the Mediterranean coast. Some people say it's the Erica arborea. Some people say it's the heath tree. If you look at that tree's roots, it makes a burl, giant ball. Cut it into blocks, and that is briar. Let's dive into some pros for briar as a material. Briar is extremely heat resistant and hard and durable. You can keep your briar pipes for your whole lifetime. You can pass them down to your children. Another great thing about them is they look great. I have a pipe here that has all three types of grain. On this side, it is straight grain and on the top and bottom it is bird's eye and then on the other side you see some flame grain flame grain is actually the grains pointed on a diagonal another type of finish for briars you can make a nice rusticated or sandblasted briar pipe this is a rusticated version of a briar pipe briar pipes over time you can build a cake and then that cake will one insulate and protect your pipe helping it last forever but two it will also add an additional layer of more flavor to the tobacco that you are smoking so the negative parts about briar they're a little bit heavy and over a long period of time it's just uncomfortable and you got to put it down another thing is briar is a little bit hard to come by it's not necessarily easy to dig up these roots out of the Mediterranean coastline. An additional con to briar pipes, they absorb moisture, which is great. However, they do not release the moisture quickly, which means you'll smoke a bowl out of a briar pipe, but then you need to let it rest for typically more than a couple days. That means you're gonna need to have more than one pipe in your collection. Maybe your favorite pipe you can't smoke every single day. That brings us along to the next pipe material, meerschaum or meerschaum. They're probably both correct. I hear meerschaum, I hear meerschaum, and we're gonna say both. So meerschaum is found in a number of places in the world, but the most common place, almost exclusively the place that pipes are made from, is Eskishire, Turkey, which is 200 miles east of Istanbul. It's mined out of the ground. It's actually compacted over uh, millions, millions of years of of microscopic sea life, like shells and, and crustaceous animals and things like that. It is initially mined as a very white, pure white substance. Um, and then over time, as you smoke it, it slowly changes color from white into kind of an amber yellow. And over a great amount of time, it'll slowly turn a deep red or black. Most people love this about Meerschaum because it adds age and character to your pipe as you smoke it. And it'll continue to smoke amazing even if it's, you know, very dark in color. When they mine the Meerschaum out of the ground, it's easy to carve. They carve it into the desired shape and then they actually put it in a kennel. They cook it and that makes it hard. After they harden the meerschaum, they put it in beeswax and then it's ready to go. So what are some pros for meerschaum? The beautiful thing about meerschaum is it's very lightweight. So you can clench a meerschaum pipe very comfortably and it absorbs heat and moisture very well. It's a very cool and dry smoking experience right away. There's no breaking in period, unlike a briar pipe. A briar pipe, you need to break it in, you need to build that cake up over time. Oh yeah, I never put that in the negative. Yeah. This, the first bowl that you light out of your meerschaum pipe is gonna be fantastic, and it's gonna continue to be like that. One more pro to meerschaum is it absorbs that moisture, but it also dissipates that moisture. It's one of the few pipe materials that you can smoke bowl after bowl, day after day, so long as you make sure you ream it out and clean it properly. 
I, I drank your whiskey. I'm sorry. I'm going to need that back. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Another pro from Meerschaum, it's a very soft material, which makes it easy to carve and to mold. They either have the traditional pipe shapes or you can see the most exquisite uh, carved Meerschaum that will look more similar to like a marble statue. If you take care of it, it'll last a lifetime. You could hand it down to your kids. So the cons of Meerschaum. You want the Meerschaum to be in direct contact with your tobacco. You do not want to build a cake in a Meerschaum pipe bowl. So that actually means you have to ream your bowl quite often. When my briar pipe is building a cake, I let it build up and then I ream it one time every you know several months. But with my Meerschaum, I find myself reaming it all the time. Someone could consider that a negative. Another con to Meerschaum, it is rare and more fragile than briar. Most people who have a Meerschaum pipe are a little bit hesitant to take it out and about because if you drop it, it'll definitely crack much easier than a briar or a corn cob. Unlike briar, Meerschaum pipes are exclusively 100% handmade. So that makes the price go up a little bit. Meerschaum is not more expensive than a hand carved briar. Well, let's move on to our next material uh, corn cob the pro to corn cob pipes is a they're cheap but also with briar pipes you have a ghosting effect so if you taste an aromatic tobacco you put that in your briar pipe and let's say you don't particularly like that flavor well that flavor might linger in your briar pipe so if you want to try out new blends of aromatic tobaccos especially you can use a corn cob pipe corn cob pipes do not need to build a cake so you don't need to break them in which is good and they look great lots of famous people throughout history have smoked corn cob pipes mark twain general douglas macarthur a bunch of people that even though they can afford all types of pipes, they actually prefer a corn cob. There are some negatives to a corn cob pipe though. The fact that you don't build a cake on the inside, you're not gonna get the same protective benefits and a uh, corn cob eventually will slowly start to burn out. It's not gonna have the same lifespan as a uh, Meerschaum or a briar pipe. However, if it's on a rotation, you're not smoking it every single day. They have been known to last 10, 20 years. But then again, if it burns out, it's okay. You could just buy another one because they're so cheap. And they have a nice rusticated look that people find desirable. And there's actually a new kind of renaissance of corn cob pipes. You're seeing more fancy corn cob stems. You got some more precious metals used to embroider. You're getting more intricate shapes. Like this is a nice poker. There's all kinds of people who love their corn cob pipes. All right, well, that about wraps it up. Leave us a comment about what you think is uh, the best pipe making material. What's your favorite pipe made out of? Is it something we didn't even talk about? Do you like to smoke ancient German porcelain pipes? Calabashes out of African gourds? These are the most popular pipe materials. We enjoyed talking about it. We're gonna end this video. Give us a like, a thumbs up, whatever you wanna call it. Follow us on Instagram, and don't forget to keep watching our goddamn channel. <laughs>